Hello, this is going to be a quick and dirty review of a EVOD 09001 uh, e-cigarette from Gearbest. Um, I'm not a big fan of e-cigarettes. Uh, I don't. Uh, I haven't been uh, completely interested in the sector, to be honest. Um, it hasn't uh, attracted me until I was um, looking for an alternative to using tobacco, because usually I smoke water pipes, so... Um, in closed environments, I need something that will replace that. Um, not that I crave nicotine in any sort of way. It's just uh, just an experiment to see if these are any good or what they actually are. Um, I'll quickly go into the science of these before I explain this product and why I like it and what I don't like about it. Um, inside it, it has a coil, a high-resistance coil, which will convert any current coming from the battery once the button is placed into heat and it will heat up to quite a high temperature, around 300 degrees, depending on what uh, coil and what battery setup there is. And uh, inside here, there is either a mixture of, of course, depending on what liquid you use, there's a, either a mixture of propylene glycol with glycerine, with a flavoring of some sort or coloring of some sort, or it's pure propylene glycol, which I do not recommend doing, and or if you decide to make it yourself, you can use 100% glycerine with maybe a tad bit of water, 15-10% water. Uh, in this setup, I have went to the chemist um, and bought pure glycerine mixed with um, around 10-15% water, pure water. No, no minerals, nothing, just pure water, pure glycerine. And uh, I'll show you the bottle, in fact. It's, it's a very clear substance. It's, it's interesting. Um, it says it has an expiry date, but I doubt that um, it will it will have any problems or issues because this stuff is very inert. It doesn't react with anything. And the reason why I use glycerine is because it is a much healthier, more natural alternative to propylene glycol, which is a human synthesized chemical, which is not natural to the human body. But glycerine, on the other hand, is just purely made from vegetable oil, to be honest. It has a very sweet taste, by the way, if you, you can give it a taste. You can ingest it, no problem. Glycerine won't uh, have any adverse side effects. In fact, it's a common additive for pet food also, um, just to basically to take up space or as a preservative, I suppose. And I mixed it with this um, strange e-liquid base thing that I had. It's basically just an, an aroma concentrate. I bought sweet mint for about a euro or so. And um, I just wanted to give it a try because, I mean, I've never used the vaporize before. But before I do that, I want to get onto the product now, I'm talking too much about the science behind it. Um, the electronic cigarette is quite nice. I ordered it from Gearbest for about three euros <coughs> 40 at the time. I will quickly display the uh, model number on the screen so you can get that. And uh, it has a 1100 milliamp hour lithium ion battery inside in this section over here this is the battery section and uh, it has a 1.6 milliliter reservoir of some sort um, now my first well probably grope with this is that the the screw on section at the top doesn't screw on so well um, it doesn't level up it doesn't line up and um, it has a tendency to be a bit sticky on the outside it does get a bit strange it's probably due to the well, residue of glycerine getting out from the seams. Uh, it's hard to fill up. Usually what I do is, uh, I suppose they expect you to fill it up from the tip. I'm not very experienced with these devices. But what I do is uh, I'd uh, unscrew the metal section here from its base and I'll basically just fill it up upside down and then screw it all back together, assemble it all together again. Um, the charger is quite basic, uh, I suppose that they have a drop-down voltage system here because uh, the battery is lithium-ion and it probably works at 3.7 volts instead of 5 volts and uh, probably just drops the voltage. It screws into the top here. When you replace the reservoir, you have to remove the reservoir to charge it, which also I think is a, a downside to the product. But um, the battery life is definitely good. I've used it for about a week now and I haven't charged it, but I don't frequently use it either every day. I could say maybe <laughs> just to see how it is, I'd puff it maybe once or twice a day. Uh, in essence, it's it's a nice solid solid metal construction. I like it. When you hold it down, a blue LED lights up, indicating that the wick is being heated up. And uh, it does generate quite a bit of smoke. Uh, in fact, I can give that a small demonstration now.
as soon as you go, uh, it's probably a very bad camera effect, but whatever, I mean, it, it gives off a decent amount of smoke. Uh, considering that I'm using pure glycerine, it um, probably has uh, less vaporization than the mixtures that people would prefer, maybe a 50-50 mixture. But um, I, I like to stick to pure glycerine. Uh, in essence, would I recommend this product? Definitely. I think uh, for the price of three and a half euros, it's it's a very cheap product. It's very good if you want to get into uh, mixing and matching things, because I mean, after all, you can't really damage something so cheap without uh, without um, being able to replace it so easily. Uh, the charger is a USB charger. It doesn't draw much current, uh, maybe 700 milliamps, nothing much more. And um, what else have I realized? Uh, the LED indicator indicating that the charging is done or not is very dodgy and unreliable. Besides that, sorry for having one of the longest reviews for an e-cigarette, and uh, stay tuned for more reviews. I'll be leaving the purchase links in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more dirty and quick reviews.